Um, we have a, we did compile. I know a lot of people question and ask, you know, really, um, you know, I do have a three-page list um, of mandates uh, that our school boards uh, came to us. Um, you know, some of, I can just uh, give some highlights on some, but you know, some of the discipline and, and classroom order was um, an issue, uh, not allowing uh, K through three students to be dismissed. Um, you know, that was one that, uh, in talking with uh, one of my uh, principals uh, in the Mora School District, you know, their issue there was a lot of times that's not necessarily a discipline issue, even as much as the school and the teachers need time to figure out how are we going to handle um, the situation, what can we change, and now they don't have that ability. Now they're at you know, working overtime in the evening trying to put that plan in place, um, which is an additional cost for them. Um, Again, a lot of the uh, curriculum um, that was added, um, anywhere from you know things related to world's be uh, best workforce, um, ethnic studies, uh, Holocaust um, issues, and then um, different uh, trainings um, that have to go out. And the, their big concern is the timeline that was put on it. Um, it's not necessarily that they're opposed to doing any of these things, but the timeline was so quick and so they have so many things that they're trying to work on all at the same time. Once again, it, it's eating up a bunch of time and having to go um, extra hours. Um, and that, again, is eating into that $2.2 billion that we put out there. Um, and then when we look at the um, universal meals uh, program, the earn sick and safe time, a um, bunch of those things they just erode away at what they really wanted, you know, I, most of my superintendents and school boards wanted to give teachers raises. And in the end, um, what they're left with, they just can't give the raises that they had really hoped for that would come. And so when you looked at our plan last year where we focused on the five and five on the formula and ending the special education cross subsidy, um, that would have really given those school districts that ability to do what their district most needed instead of all creating a bunch of new work to create new curriculum, create new plans, um, and dictate where that money would go rather than giving them the flexibility.